lost again going back around dreaming of a time when i get things right lost in the shadows of a million stars shouldn't they in my mind near and far shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are send a prayer if i'm out Hey, hey, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome. If you are new here, today's video is exciting. I'm going to be sharing with you some new home updates and we are officially moved in. So I can't wait to share today's video with you, but we're going to start out giving you a before of what everything looked like. You can see desperately needed some new carpet in here. This carpet was older and we chose to update the carpet we thought about doing like vinyl um, wood flooring throughout the whole house but we decided because it does get cold here in the winter to just replace the carpet as the kitchen flooring was still really good um, so we decided we were going to rip it all out ourselves to save some money and have a company come and install the carpet just to make sure that it was done correctly so um, my husband and I did do all of the ripping out. You're seeing him do it because I am filming. I forgot my tripod this day, so I didn't get the chance to like set up the camera, but I did get some clips of him starting to rip out some carpet. We had to rip up all the carpet, all of the padding. We had to make sure the tack strips were, um, secure and in good condition and then we had to clean up the floors before the carpet company came in and laid our new carpet but this is after we got everything ripped out and then now you can see there's a little bit of progress the carpet company came and laid all of the new padding which is a waterproof padding as well and then laid our brand new carpet and we are loving it it is so soft so plush and it's just really amazing carpet and we're glad that we made this choice to be honest especially with kids and in the bedrooms and stuff when it gets cold we are so so glad that we made this decision but we did give the whole house a fresh coat of white paint as well i think i shared that on my youtube shorts but we had family that was so gracious to come and help us paint and get it done before carpet came we had such a small window we had like a three-day window to paint this whole entire house and so we so graciously had family that offered to help us but preferred not to be on camera so i respected their wishes and um, did not film the painting process but we just did a fresh coat of white and then later on down the road if we choose we can add some color in some places we just wanted to get it done so that way we could get moved in but after we got moved in one of the first things we wanted to do was power wash the house and this front deck you can just see how green and gross the front deck was um, like I had mentioned before previously this was my grandparents home and you know they're older in age so there's just some things that they no longer could take care of and um you know so we wanted to just honor that and get it nice and clean because they are the kind of people that would um, normally keep up on this frequently um but just old age sometimes gets to you and just doesn't allow for that but we want to care for this home 
um, as much as they cared for it. And um, so yeah, it just, we are very blessed and thankful to be able to have this home. And so we want to give it the best love that we can. So we're going to go ahead and power wash um, the steps and the house and the front walkway. Um, there's like a little sidewalk um, that they had put in up to the front door and we're going to power wash that as well just because of years of dirt and grime and such um, which you're going to see here just how dark the cement is um, and it doesn't like look too terrible in some spots but when you see it after it's been power washed it's like holy moly that is a huge difference which you can see my husband standing there the one square um, that we did just looked so much better but one thing I can say, with only having one power washer in the house and two people who really love to power wash, I think we need to get a second power washer because my husband and I had to constantly take turns because we're both like, I want a power wash. No, I want a power wash. It's just, it was really fun. And when we power washed, it was really, really hot here this day, like over 90 with a pretty high heat index and humidity. So it honestly felt amazing to get out here and just power wash and you know have all that water coming back at you even if it's dirty water thank god for showers but we were just so happy to get this done and have it looking nice i can't wait to plant some more plants up here and give the house just what they call some curb appeal and just make it super pretty i can't wait for all that but i wanted to share some home updates with you first and then we're going to get into um, some cleaning motivation and just some kind of daily things that we're doing um, and we do have more home updates coming as well we just have not got that far in the process it was basically get the walls painted get the carpet in and move in because we do have a buyer for our previous home and so we had a time frame in which you know, we wanted to be respectful to the new buyer and let her have our old home. And so some updates will had to be done after we moved in, but that's totally fine. Um, so I'll be sharing those as well, but I wanted to share all of this with you because it's just extremely satisfying. But with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave it a big thumbs up. It really helps on my channel. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoy these style videos and or what you would like to see on my channel. I really like to keep it homemaking and share all the homemaking things with you guys just to give you some motivation and inspiration, but I would love to hear from you down in the comments. One of the things I love about this home is having a spacious yard and a ton of woods right behind our house. So we get beautiful birds coming to the bird feeders in the morning and you can see turkeys and deer and just so much wildlife out here. It's beautiful. We have a spot to hang our hammocks and if you have a hammock, you know, you know. It is like one of the most peaceful things and to be honest, that's what I'm all about right now is just taking it slow, enjoying the day, and doing something that brings me some joy and brings me some peace and laying in this hammock, reading my Bible or reading a good book or even just listening to the Bible on my Bible app on my phone. It, there's just something so peaceful about being in nature, looking up at the sky and the trees and seeing everything that God created and just all in its beauty and just take it in and relax it's so gorgeous the kids love the hammock they are usually always sitting in the hammock with me and it's just so fun to have that space now to be able to relax and enjoy and get out of the city a little bit <laughs> previously we were um pretty dead center in the city um, that we live in and it just was not the place for us anymore um, I grew up on a big farm as a kid and my husband grew up on a houseboat and so you know there are just some things that we were both really missing and wanted to get away from the city a little bit more and eventually um, because this home is not our forever home um, eventually we would like to get even more property and um, you know but we will do that when the Lord 
um, has that planned for us. But for now, we are happy and content and blessed and just beyond grateful for this space. But I did want to give you some cleaning motivation, so we're going to go ahead and get some dishes done. I do have to currently hand wash my dishes. <laughs> the dishwasher here um, was never used, and so it's like 16-ish years old. Um, and all the gaskets in it are not well. So um, it had been advised that it could possibly leak if I was to use it. So we do need to get a new dishwasher, which will come in time. Um, so for now, I'm going to hand wash dishes and I am okay with that. Do I miss a dishwasher? Yes, but I am totally okay with hand washing if that's something we need to do um, and get at a later time. But um, we are going to be switching out the kitchen faucet the bathroom faucets we're going to be putting in a backsplash and some new light fixtures which I will share in an upcoming video for you as well but I'm just enjoying all the homemaking things since moving in and um, I did want to take a minute to decorate the fireplace we don't have all of our stuff set up yet like we don't have curtains hung or anything like that yet we still have to work on all that but you know one day one step at a time um, but I wanted to go ahead and decorate this fireplace so I just put my candlesticks up here um, one of my plants and some plant propagations and then off to the side I wanted to put my diffuser over here is really aiming to have a diffuser in the living room kitchen and then one in the kids rooms if possible and just to be able to diffuse more and just have the home smelling really really wonderful and I honestly don't know if the house is gonna stay in this setup we're just kind of trying to get in and um, see in what way we like things to be set up but I wanted to go ahead and vacuum the one thing with brand new carpets is those fresh vacuum lines are just so satisfying they don't last long but they are so satisfying and um, there's still some, you know, little carpet pieces. If you've ever had fresh carpet installed, you know that you get some of the little carpet fibers that are still hanging around. Is it 12 years since last time? Where'd you go? What's the score? Did you find what you were looking for? Never see. I sure can't wait to get the rest of our items set up like my plant stand, get the curtains hung, get more decor hung and things like that and the space is really going to come together but now it's that time my kiddos were asking me for some fresh lemonade so we're going to go ahead and make some fresh lemonade. It is summertime and there is nothing like a cold fresh glass of lemonade during the summer so I'm going to go ahead and make that for them and then I am going to get my sheets and blankets out of the wash and put those back on my bed and fold some laundry. Wish I could say I was finally over you but that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone say me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page
option to be someone else I would And let go of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious But I made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. But that's going to be it for today's video. I thank you so much for joining me. I am so happy to have you here and just so gracious for all of you guys and grateful. You guys are absolutely wonderful. If you are in need of prayer, I would be honored to pray for you. Let me know down in the comments. Send me an email or write me over on Instagram. I would love to chat with you and pray for you. But until I see you in the next one, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too